Hey, it's Matthew McAllister here. Welcome to another episode of Vinyl Collection here at Gallery of Guitar, where we take a little peek into the vast amount of LPs and old records that I've collected over the years, hopefully bringing to your attention some players and performers that maybe you've never heard of, or a bit of nostalgia, bringing back some fantastic albums from the past, and also repertoire and styles of recording, techniques of playing that are important for everybody to be aware of and also help inform the practices and ways we play now in 2023. So today I'm featuring Konrad Ragosnig, an incredible Austrian guitar player. Konrad passed away in 2018 and he has a huge recorded output. Much of it you'll find on streaming services. He recorded about 70 albums. So really a prolific uh, performer and a very, very prolific educator. He taught in Zurich and in Basel and also in Vienna at the various universities and academies there. Um, He was a really cultured musician. A huge interest in early music. Similar to Julian Bream, he also performed on lute and recorded on lute and used some nail when he approached that instrument and he was very interested in early music so you'll find when you look at his catalogue of recordings not just the pyrotechnics of of Turina that we hear in the background just now that great Spanish composer for guitar you'll hear him exploring all sorts of early music and early repertoire as well he's really really well versed across really the whole guitar repertoire he worked a lot as often the head of international guitar juries, himself being a a major prize winner in his time. So the album we have today, it's a classic, the Spanish Guitar Album. So, you know, it's looking at composers such as Albéniz, Chirina that you can hear just now, Granados, Manuel de Falla, the classic Spanish guitar recital. Why I thought I would feature that one, I have many others to share with you over this series, but I thought I would begin with this one. You can hear his ear for what the guitar is capable of, how much left hand colour there is in his playing. And what I mean by that is the addition of vibrato, the way he plays with gliss and connects lines, jumping the right hand around as well to characterise all these little motifs and riffs, ostinatos, in different ways, giving everything direction. Everything's full of colour in Conrad's playing a very intelligent musician, a really cultured player, exploiting everything with the guitar. Great technique, great facility on the instrument. Amazing. (laughs) You hear the glissando in the middle of that run to connect the descending line. An amazing fingering. Fingerings that are highly expressive. Maybe not the most efficient ways at times to negotiate a passage, but highly musical and creating something more than just the the, the technical feat of getting from A to Z. Um, But featuring this music is interesting because Conrad didn't just leave us great recordings, he also left us fantastic additions and arrangements. And if you're a guitar student or a guitar teacher, you will know of Conrad's arrangements. They're excellent especially of the music of Isaac Albaneth. So sometimes have a look on the scores you're working on when you're working on Albaneth, which everybody tries as a classical player. Have a look in the top right-hand corner and see if it might well have been arranged by the great Austrian virtuoso, Konrad Ragosnig. Check out his playing. You'll find it definitely on digital media. See you next time. Bye for now.